Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Matt Hughes and Anderson Silva. Record for the longest title reign in UFC history, nearly 2,500 days. Anderson the Spider Silva, and I guess DC with no mandatory retirement age, this guy might go forever. Anderson Silva is one of the greatest fighters of all time. One of the guys that when you think of mixed martial arts, and you think of the UFC, you immediately think of the Spider. You think of the highlight reel, winning the belt from Rich Franklin, the up kick on Vitor Belfort, the knee against Stefan Bonner, the bobbing and weaving against Forrest Griffin. He has a highlight reel a mile long, one of the most fantastic martial artists the sport has ever seen. And still proving to be competitive in his mid-40s. That is the goal again tonight. For one of the best to ever do it, Anderson the Spider Silver. All right, should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face, he pushes forward, he gets to the clinch, loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 33. The Brazilian is 45. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 45 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Hillsboro, Illinois, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC welterweight champion of the world, Matt. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? So the fight is now underway on one side with the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up there. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge and reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Try to establish that jab. A little single collar tie there. Great punch landed with so much power. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. 
and they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. The Hall of Famer Hughes gets touched by that kick there. And he landed the right hand there. Takedown defense holds up. All right, single collar tie now. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Back and forth we go. Two minutes to go. You got to check these low leg kicks. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Switching stances here. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Oh! Oh! Man right there, his opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. So just over 20 oh! strikes. Gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, inside leg kick lands for him, DC. That was beautiful technique. He's beating up both sides of the leg. A lot of times you see guys with an outside kick. He switched it up now, and he's beating up the inside of his opponent. What a nice kick. job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, round two. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Silva's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not. Oh. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he's got the boy tied for it. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. And they separate. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Effective strike there by Hughes. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the center. He was landing one before, and now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. And they separate. Slips the punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh, nice. Kick. Right hand landed. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Hughes goes for the takedown. He misses. Beautiful leg kick roll. Double leg. 
great action to get to that takedown. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. You gotta be careful, Armbar. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn deep. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Silva. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking oh, master of the transition. Nice scramble. Hughes gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Hughes. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. And attack an armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately force the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliotta is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, Matt Hughes! Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most. 